Here's three minutes on how to recharge your car's air conditioning system. The equipment you need are safety goggles, gloves, recharging fluid that matches the specifications for your vehicle, the filling valve with a pressure gauge and quick disconnect, and optionally a temperature probe or thermometer. See the links below. First, check the temperature of the air coming from your system before the recharge. This should be done on a warm day or in a warm place with the AC on maximum. Everything I'm doing here is in degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature outdoors is 26 or 79 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see that the car is putting out air that isn't much cooler at 21 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's always important to think safety first. So before doing any of the recharge process, put on your gloves and safety goggles. Now screw the connector and gauge onto the recharge bottle. Start the car's engine and make sure the air conditioner is set to max AC. Now locate the air conditioning connectors. These have been standardized on almost all modern cars for decades. And there will be a high pressure side and a low pressure side. If you're not sure where they are, check the documentation for your specific vehicle. We're going to connect to the low pressure side, but not to worry, the connectors are different sizes so you'll only be able to attach to the correct side. When you connect to the inlet, you should hear a click when the fitting is seated correctly. Once connected, you can see the pressure level of the system. The target is to be well up into the blue area on this gauge, and you'll see here that the pressure is well down below that. Give the can a good shake to mix the lubricants that are also in the can. Once shaken, pull the trigger for 5 or 6 seconds. Give the system several seconds to absorb the charge and check the pressure gauge again. It looks like that's all it took to get high up into the blue area, so it's time to measure the temperature and see how well it worked. You can see that we have vastly colder air coming out now at 2.8 degrees Celsius or 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Now return to the front of the car and simply remove the quick connect attachment by pulling up on its collar. Replace the cap and you are finished. If you only have a small leak in your system, this process may need to be done again. And it's typically much more cost effective than finding and repairing the leak. You can also purchase refrigerants that have dyes included to help locate leaks or leak sealers that may solve the problem long term. I hope this video helps you and please do like and subscribe. Thanks.